want to thank the Academy for inviting me to uh, give this talk on, on Wi-Fi as a coronary risk factor. Uh, before I show my slides, I want to comment that the, the nitric oxide pathway, being a cardiologist myself, is extraordinarily important. It's a very good talk. Uh, and the mechanism for uh, wireless radiation uh, in causing disease and DNA breakdown and, uh, and pathology is due to nitric oxide disruption. Uh, that's how the wireless works. Uh, it causes enormous oxidative stress, endothelial cell dysfunction, and nitric oxide depletion. So it's kind of uh, cool to follow that speaker uh, as being a mechanism of action. You know, if you look at cardiovascular pathology, uh, you know, we, we, there's universal agreement that uh, it's unsupportive lifestyle, overweight status, you've heard about overweight and leptin, uh, diet, exercise, nutrient depletion. Uh, trans fats is, is probably the, the most toxic uh, impact, has the most toxic impact on a cardiovascular system. I mean, saturated fats, in, in my opinion, uh, do no harm. Uh, monounsaturated fats do no harm because they don't elicit an insulin response. And remember, uh, insulin responses are really the most toxic to uh, endothelial cell dysfunction. Uh, emotional trauma and blocks are extraordinarily important. Uh, my background is uh, 10 years in bioenergetic psychotherapy training and, and uh, I became a certified psychotherapist because I really realized the uh, connection between the mind and the body, particularly when it uh, comes to cardiovascular disease. Now, you all know about environmental toxins, mercury in the environment, insecticides, pesticides, uh, you know, that, that's uh, in chemicals and, and phthalates. Um, medications, again, are, are also uh, very potent mitochondrial toxins. And uh, electropollution, RF, radio frequency, and wireless is really the newest uh, mitochondrial toxin that we're facing, uh, actually, in civilization today. Um, all these attributes uh, or all these contribute to inflammation, mitochondrial distress, cellular, and what happens is our cellular departure from uh, synchronous vibration occurs and we get chaotic activity uh, in the cell and uh, we get pathology. Uh, here's a human body with its normal energy field and its various chakras and, and, and vibrational medicine is really a, uh, in, in my mind, it's, it's, the, it's a new wave of the future. Uh, we're all conglomerations of electromagnetic energy. You know, we, we have flesh and bones, but we've got to realize our blood cells really function at the speed of light. So we're very electrical beings. And uh, each cell transmits and receives energy. There's an exchange of energy from cell to cell. And now this can be uh, fundamental to healing if you're putting in healthy vibrations into the body, or it can be a threat to healing if the body is being attacked, so to speak, by unhealthy vibrations. So when I speak about good vibrations versus bad vibrations, I'm talking about tensegrity, where, uh, you know, if, if you go to a massage therapist or a, or a DO and they're working on a certain part of your body, you know, they may be working on your foot, but they're healing your shoulder at the same time. So uh, I borrowed this slide from Kerry Crofton, uh, and, uh, and basically in her book, wireless radiation. She shows a pregnant woman who's talking on a, telephone, on a cordless phone and uh, using a, com a computer. And what's happening is that the, the uh, toxic vibrations that are going in the ear or coming through uh, the computer are literally uh, going into the uh, womb. And, and it's no accident that uh, there's been an enormous increase in premature births and uh, there's an enormous increase in sterility in both uh, male and female counterparts. I saw the movie uh, Children of Men a couple of weeks ago where it was sort of a, a futuristic movie about what it's going to be like in 2027. And uh, I, I guess the, f the theme or the metaphor of the movie was that no women were getting pregnant on the planet. And uh, there was a brief discussion in the movie about why this was happening. And, and one of the actors says, well, it's probably a c combination of all the toxins in our environment and the radio frequency. I almost fell out of my chair when uh, he came out with that comment. So uh, it was pretty cool to hear that, I'd hear that because uh, this is uh, where I have a lot of passion in my work. 
But in this 2008 article in the Journal of Epidemiology, they looked at 13,000 children, and 10,000 of them had uh, learning disabilities, behavioral problems, ADD, ADHD, and autism.